Hello everybody, in this tutorial I will show you how you can add details to DIA files you purchase or you obtain. Uh, for the purpose of this video I'll, sh I'll use uh, Melimako pinup girl pencil skirt dress which you can purchase from here. Uh, I'll use the large version for this one even though I uploaded the other ones in, into ASL uh, rigged, but when I move them into the other ones, like uh, small, x small, other versions into Maya, somehow they were not rigged. The large one was rigged, but you can use the same technique for all for all other versions for Slink, Mitre, etc. If you uh, dragged and dropped the dia file uh, into the scene. You might actually have a look similar look to this, a jumbled up look to get rid of that. We just go to um, display animation, joint size, and we select a joint size maybe 0.01, something that looks okay. So then we select the, the dress and we select, um, we go to skin, unbind skin. And then we delete the skeleton. Make sure there's only dress in there, nothing else. We'll have two versions, one to be used to model around and then another one to copy skins from one to another. Okay. Now we just bring this two into another layer so we can uh, hide it and show it. Then we'll make it live. We'll open the tools palette, we'll go to quad draw. We'll, I'll show you uh, how you can add uh, a pocket, but you can use the same technique to add other details like belt, buttons, etc. So I'll just create a button, I mean the pocket sh shape like. So I'll just go like that. You just then um, hold shift you hold the control to add a uh, edge loop and then you hold shift to create quad then we'll just create more resolution holding control and holding control in here okay i just make it a little bit pocket look like you can hold shift and then just relax the loop so basically that looks like uh, you can go into more detail, make it even more detailed pocket, but um, that will serve our pur purpose. So I'll just stop in here and just then um, I'll make this um, I'll go to modeling and mesh and smooth it, right? And then I'll go to quad again and maybe just fix the corners. And then just then um, I'll just press B and hold uh, the right middle middle mouse and then I'll make it to the right to increase the soft selection and I'll just just a little bit move around so it would snap onto the bond the body under the dress under okay then I'll just go press B again just to get rid of the soft selection and we have two um, points in here we just need to if you hold actually we need to get rid of those points in there and somehow I'll see how we can get rid of it go to quad normally if you hold control shift and come on to it and you should see um, X mark and just press it, but somehow I can select this. This one as I'm holding control shift and then just press this one. It should go away, it doesn't. I will, uh, okay, it did now. And let's see if we can do the same one for this one. Okay, it doesn't happen, we'll do it later anyway. So once that is done, we'll just go make it, make the dress unlike by pressing here. And then we'll go to mesh, edit mesh, we'll go transform and just will make it out in the Z direction, right? So then we'll select the outside. Well, we'll select the, 
do uh, double click to, to the out, outside edges to select all of them, then hold control and, and click and drag to the edges to select them, this de deselect them. Then we'll go to here, extrude, and we'll just extrude in. Again, I'm not, this could be like closer to the body, etc. these things. I'm not making a detailed one or a, or a perfect looking one, but I'm making one to show the process how you can add details to the dresses similar to this. Once that is done, we make this a single side. We don't add thickness to this and we'll add the thickness later. But if you made it, if you made a button, then you actually create the button with thickness. You don't need to create single side. If it is like a, a larger surface part model, like a pocket, then you create a single side geometry. We are done with that now and we just go to here and uh, go to modify, so go to edit, delete by type history and then modify freeze transformations. Now we are done with that, don't need the body under, you can get rid of it, delete it or just hide it in here. Now we can bring the, uh, the dia file one more time to the scene. This time we're gonna use the bottom one to uh, copy the weights from the bottom one to the top one. Now we select the pelvis, we go to select, select hierarchy, then we hold shift and select the pocket, then we press, uh, we go to skin, we go to rigging, skin, and interactive bind skin, right? And then <clears throat> we select the dress, then the uh, shift, select the pocket, and then we go to copy skin widths. And make sure you have got the, these settings and select apply. Now, if you go to here and we go to skin and go to paint, um, paint skin weights, skin weights, right? And if you go to right click on the bone, select influence, the underlying, the dresses, uh, you can see the dresses weights on, on, the, on the particular selected bone. Let's do the same thing for the pocket. And again, we'll see the same thing, the same weights. So basically now if you move, This and the pocket, as you can see, for example, here, it'll move with the body, right? Once we are done, we need to have only the pocket in the in the scene, and so we just go and skin and export skin weights. Select export skin weights, and we just uh, click a folder for it, I'll say uh, pocket. You can give any name, but you need to copy that name because we'll use that name again. So we'll say pocket and we'll just send, we'll say pocket again and save into this. Now we export this, we select an, any location and that like it can be desktop or or on, under your documents and we just say fpx and then we say um, pocket right now we open another instance of maya and we bring the fpx file into the scene we might have the same jumbled up look and we can just go to uh, display animation joint size and 0 0.01 now we have pocket in here you just go to your skin unbind, unbind skin right and if you after here you just come to select all of this here and select unlock uh, after that we go to palettes tools palettes and then we'll select extrude and then 
we just extract 0, 0.0 well, well we'll go to here we'll select we'll make it 0 0.05 which is usually okay after that we select again the the hip and select hierarchy and then select shift hold shift and select the pocket and then go to skin interactive bind skin sorry it crashed and i did the same process and you you select the body on um, uh, the pelvis and then select hierarchy shift select the and pocket and just go to skin and bind skin or interactive bind skin it's the same and then we just go to skin again import under source images and we go to we find our pocket and or the weight we exported from other instance of maya and then we just import weights and then we ex export it to any location desktop or any other any other folder you, you would like to as I say pocket as diaf file diafbx and then export selection then you open your Maya and then you go to build upload model then you find find your diaf file and then And then you select open and then you go to um, under the upload option select include and give any name you'd like and for the simplicity i'll make it pocket maybe large okay and then i'll say avatar attachment and then calculate weight and upload now you just go to here right click add there you have your detail can apply the same technique for any other detail from making a belt to adding even flowers or buttons or any other detail you would like thank you for watching